just to document what has happened or has not happened, this fell and just about landed on me. I have a giant bruise on my hand and it uh, went all the way up my arm. Just missed my dogs. All this material was just left in here. Stacked up, stacked around. Nothing was covered of mine, which was promised. So I expected dust, but not literally. I've cleaned these. You can't tell what it was like before because I couldn't live in it. No care was taken for any of my stuff. I understand they fell through the roof here, but um, my clothes, everything needs to be cleaned. I mean, they're covered in crap. And again, if stuff was covered, or if this had been moved onto my bed and covered, it would have been fine. And I told him I was concerned about it because I didn't have time to do it before I left for Houston. And he said not to worry. He would take care of everything. This is a mess down here. I don't know if you can see it. All of these things were in boxes with covers. Now they're just strewn all over the floor. Now we'll take a walk outside. I have no electricity in a lot of the house, which he's already been paid for doing and completing. Again, just stacked up everywhere. This is my bathroom. I've picked up, I don't know how many styrofoam cups and bottles and cigarette butts because nobody cared. This had a bunch of open containers that were just gathering water, perfect mosquito haven. This is my yard, which I've started to clean up. As you can see, there's materials here that we purchased, we spent our money on, that have just been out here for countless numbers of thunderstorms. Here's some of the open stuff. Those are his buckets, not mine. Um, there were so many things left over from the roofing. I mean, debris everywhere, um, nails, screws, things that my livestock could eat. And it can be fatal to them. This is just a mess. My dogs are supposed to come out here. It's ridiculous. And I understand that Corey is sick and I feel for him, but if you are a professional and you have a crew, then a crew could come out here and at least pick this up. That's all I've really asked for, stuff to be picked up. My mother and I, who she's 73, we cleaned out the stall that has been full of stuff since day one of this. Um, anyway, I have no electricity in the horse barn. It's pitch black at night. These are little things, but if you have a crew, send somebody out here to pick it up. That's all I asked him to do when he got sick. That was it. And that has not happened.